Doing it. Okay, good afternoon. Welcome all to Dubai Safari Park. My name is Nahir. This is the Safari Journey. Okay? So enjoy your trip. Do you guys have your passports? Camera's ID. Only? You don't have passports? No. We're not in UAE for now. We're trying to enjoy ah. Aywa. Okay? So welcome to Africa. Take as many pictures and videos as you can. You can ask me wow. if you like. I'll try my best to answer, okay? My name is Nahia. <laughs> so the first animal I'd like to see, which is the eagles, the third largest land mammals. These are the common eagles. You went to African village? Yeah. So the African village, you saw the pygmy hippo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The small one. Yes, that's the pygmy hippo. Wow, it's a big one. So the common hippos, they spend most of their time inside the water. As you can see, the water is dirty. They're using the water for almost everything in their lives. They're using the water as their toilet. They're using the water to, uh, to give birth. They're using the water to feed their babies. They're using their water to sleep inside the water. So they can sleep inside the water for five to seven minutes. And they can also hold their breath for five to seven minutes inside the water. They're also known as the seahorses because even though they spend most of their time inside the water but the hippos cannot swim. So they actually go inside the water and jump. They have the biggest mouth out of all the land mammals but they do not eat humans. However, they do kill a lot of humans when once they feel greater. And one thing about the hippos, they can't jump. So if they try to attack you, just go on top of the tree. They won't <laughs> the next area we're going to see, this is the wetland area. So basically, in Dubai Safari Park, we're trying to keep uh, natural behavior for our animals. We don't keep them as pets. We're trying our best to give them the natural behavior and natural habitat to our animals. This is called wetland area. Back in Africa, when you see the wetland area, it looks messy as how it looks here. The white bird we're seeing in front of us is a spoon bill. So as you can see, the bill is like a spoon here in front of us. They're using the bill uh, to detect food inside the water. There is also the secret ibis, the black one, and the small ones are just the migratory bird. Parang spoon ha? Parang spoon ha? Ayun yung tuka niya. <laughs> Where now? They are living together with the hippo? No, actually that we left the hippo area. Uh -huh. Of mothers, fathers, grandpas, 
and babies as well. We're helping a lot of babies, by the way. So they are eating vegetables and fruits. They are exactly like how we behave to our babies. So when they conceive, when they give birth, when they give birth, they breastfeed their babies and they keep them on their back for three months. After three months, they start to treat them. They, they start training them how to be independent. And once they reach uh, four years, the baby is fully grown up and fully independent. about the weather? I mean. No, actually they, they are already used to the weather and also you see water there ah. so they are using that water to cool themselves even though they don't like swimming and they can't swim but they still go there to cool So how do you know the male from the female? 
This one, the men have something that's called the doula. Thank <laughs> you. 
So some kings in Africa, they used to use their horns wow. as their caps. They're also using them as their dowries. So when they get married, um, the, the more beautiful the bride, the more what you see. So as you see, the dark ones are the male, and the lighter ones are the females.
Poor lad. So when he will get married, they're giving this bird because they want them to have the same relationship. So this bird, they will they will serve to them together. They would never give up. So we we need whenever we get married, I think we need this bird to give us the spirits, right? Tell them to ask her. So your partners were partners usually? Yes. So they have their special dance and their singing as well. So sometimes when they want to attract the female, they start dancing and singing for them. They're having their special voice that they're making and they also dance.
interesting. Okay, my yeah. name is Nania and the driver is Taimur. Nice to have you and thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah.